Welcome back. As beef producers, we're continually striving to improve our operations, to make our cow herds better and more productive each and every year. And as an overall industry, we're also working on continuous improvement so that the beef we produce has the greatest appeal for our consumers. That's one reason behind the National Beef Quality Audit, known as NBQA, which is underway now. And joining us to discuss the National Beef Quality Audit is Jesse Fulton. He's the Associate Director of Producer Education for the National Cattlemen's Beef Association. Jesse, tell us a little bit more about NBQA and a little bit of the, about the history behind the program. So the National Beef Quality Audit was first initiated 25 years ago in 1991. Um, the whole idea behind the audit is to show us where we are in the industry and where we need to go. Um, it's set on three core principal values. The first being that that can't be measured, can't be managed. Mm -hmm. And the second is where uh, it shows us of our shortcomings and where we're not in conformance with the beef industry. And our third is shows us how, you know, how committed we are to improving the quality of beef and making producers or consumers happy. Sure. Tell us a little bit more about the information that is included in NBQA. Uh, so the National Beef Quality Audit, audit is, cha is uh, put into three phases. The first phase is where researchers go out and interview uh, packers, processors, retailers, and food service on their decision-making processes when they're buying beef. Uh, the second phase is where the researchers actually go to commercial harvest facilities, and they audit the harvest floor as well as the cooler. In those areas, we're looking at uh, what kind of beef is coming into the plant, and then we're also in the cooler, we're looking at what kind of beef we're producing across the, the, the nation. And so what were the findings of the last NBQA uh, process and, and how are we putting those to use? So the last audit was done in 2011 and we seen that there was a, we needed a significant improvement in beef quality. Um, so now we're just working to improve the integrity and the quality of beef. Now I understand you're asking producers to participate in an MBA, uh, MBQA survey. Can you tell us more about that? Yeah, so this survey, you know, the producers are the ones that we're feeding this data to, so we also need their input. Um, so we've generated some questions that we need to ask them about their operations and what's important to them to get their opinion back. Mm -hmm. So the more that we have participate, the better it is. So we've sent this out uh, across um, several media sites, and it's also on our website so they can participate. That's outstanding. And again, it's important to note, it is anonymous. Is that correct? It is. So tell folks how they participate and specifically, what's the deadline for participation? So the survey is open right now and it doesn't close until November the 18th. Um, they can go to bqa.org and click on the National Beef Quality Audit survey link right at the top of the page. Let's remind folks one more time. This is the producer survey for the National Beef Quality Audit a chance to anonymously share your information and your opinions. And it's easy to complete online. Just go to the website, bqa.org, and click on the producer survey link. Remember, this data will help keep our industry getting better, and we need input from every segment of the beef industry to make this work. So please do your part today. You know, this is great information, Jesse, and before I let you go, I know you're busily preparing for the NCBA convention, and specifically Cattlemen's College. Give us a little sneak peek of what we can anticipate. Oh, Cattlemen's College is very exciting this year. Um, we've got tracks lined up all the way from soil health and managing it and how it improves animal performance, mm -hmm. and all the way to, you know, stuff for the feed yard guys and where the future of cow feeding is going based on byproducts. Um, it's going to be a real great year for us. That's outstanding. Thank you so much for coming to the show. Thanks for having me.